Um, you know, before I get started, number one is that we obviously live in a society of social network and, you know, everybody want everything instant and, you know, there's some erroneous statements made of day about Jalen Barford and uh, as someone told me, it's just like, you know, <clears throat> the, the toothpaste in the tube, you get it out there, then it goes out and just spreads. You get the t t toothpaste out the tube and it just spreads. And, uh, but obviously there's some erroneous reporting on Jalen Barford and, uh, and as a coach, obviously you, you get that kind of information and you go, you're taken aback. Uh, but that's the society we live in. Uh, but needless to say, we're getting this team ready to go and play in the uh, PK-80. Uh, honored to be going there. Uh, we also will have another addition to our team, and uh, uh, Dustin Thomas will be reinstated uh, uh, for this for this game for, as we move forward, starting with this tournament. So, so now we're getting more of our bodies uh, back and getting them ready and. And, uh, and we're excited about playing against a tremendous Oklahoma team. This is going to be a, another test for our team as we uh, go in a tournament setting. And I want to – it's a great test for us because I want to see how our guys are going to respond as the, the competition level goes up. And we talked about being dialed in for that next level. Well, we get an opportunity to do that uh, in a neutral setting. And what better setting than, a, uh, you know, a tournament of, of this nature. Uh, uh, I know our guys are really, really super excited, and, and more importantly, it's just to honor someone who's been uh, uh, who innovator in our game. Uh, he's transcended. Uh, obviously, when you talk about the shoe gear, the uh, the outfits that these guys are going to be wearing. I mean, you, when you think about Nike and, and Phil Knight, what he's uh, the impact he had on on the basketball world has has been. Unbelievable! Not only just basketball, but all sports. And so, so an opportunity for us, being a Nike school, uh, to go up and and show our appreciation for him, and and play in a great one of the greatest tournaments I think they put together. A great field this time of the year. This is right at Thanksgiving. So, uh, we, we're looking forward to headed to to Portland. Leave out tomorrow. We'll practice here today and leave out tomorrow, and uh, we'll go get at it. Dustin been in practice. Um, how, I mean, what, what role do you anticipate him playing? Because he hadn't even played in the exhibition games. I mean, you know. well, you know, that's, we've played what, two exhibition games and three games, and uh, the only way he can try to stay fine tuned is through practice and going after these guys. And uh, he's had a lot of energy. I know that in practice, and he's had some pretty good practices. But uh, I think the beauty of our basketball team is it's kind of allowed you know some of our young guys to to get their footings a lot quicker. And we're seeing Gabe get out there and, 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 and really perform well. You know, you're seeing Daniel uh, impact our basketball team. You're seeing Darius Hall have an opportunity to get out there. So, uh, and you're seeing Adriel Bailey. You know, uh, you take away the, uh, I think the uh, first game. After that, Adriel has been, I think the exhibition game. Adriel has been, I mean, he's been unbelievable. He's been getting us probably eight and six rebounds a game, uh, just having a tremendous impact on the game. So. Uh, I think it makes us a little deeper, and so he's got to work. I mean, he's uh, he don't just come right in, and just stop, st just jump right in there. He's got to work and, and, and earn his keeps. Just with the foul trouble that both Gafford and, and Trey Thompson have been in late, how important is that having Thompson just pick up some minutes? If not that, that's a great point, Nate. That's uh, to me is it's what it what it what it helps from that department because you got an experienced guy. It's a fifth year guy who's been here. Uh, his games are kind of. Uh, they're going down. I mean, he started out with 31. Now he has 28 games. Uh, he missed out on three. So uh, hopefully we'll get a guy out there with experience, somebody that's hungry. Uh, we, we know his versatility is, is, is really big for our basketball team. Uh, I think he's worked on really shooting the ball and maybe can stretch the floor a little bit more. Uh, but it, his ball handling, his rebounding, his uh, tenacity, uh, hopefully will be an asset. Yeah, Mike, yeah, especially with your, you might be playing, I, I guess you are playing three games in four days. How important is it to get another body back, whether it's, you know, Dustin or whoever it is? You know, I, to, I really feel it's big. Yeah, you know. I think it's big. And this, you know, our teams are built for, for tournaments. And, uh, you know, the only thing, Dustin hadn't had a chance to play uh, early on. But when you look at the other guys, and, and, and you know, I look out at times uh, in the last game and the last two games, I'm looking out there, we got 
three freshmen, a, a sophomore, and and then you might have a senior guard out there with them. And those guys were not missing a beat. And so to me, uh, as we go up in this setting here, uh, you know, there are going to be times you're going to see that kind of lineup out there. You know, can they go out there and maintain or, or take us to another level uh, in their play? Uh, but we know depth is so critical, especially how we want to play. We want to get up and down the floor. and uh, We want to attack offensively. We want to attack defensively. You extend a lot of energy. And so uh, and you go from one day, we play on Thursday. Then you play on Friday, got a day in between where you're off, and then you come back Sunday. So that's a, that's a lot of basketball crammed into some days. And, and But we started the season off on a Friday, Sunday. Uh, uh, by the way, Bob, we did. Just building off of that, as far as the tournament coach, you know, you look at it, it's like that. It's two games in three days down the road. So do you approach this tournament coming up this weekend kind of like the NCAA tournament, or it's a totally different approach to it? That's a tournament. That's a big-time tournament. I mean, if you look at the teams that are in there, it's, it has the, the makings of a, 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 every team you're going to play is going to be really, really good. And you, the first game is the most important game. You know, the only difference is you're going to get three games there. Whereas the NCAA is survive in advance. So, but our mindset is going to be, hey, the first game is the most important game. So Oklahoma is, is the only team that's on our mind right now. And we want to go up and, and just get better. I think get better from the games we played here. We've had a chance to play here. Uh, uh, the teams we played, Sanford, Bucknell, and then, of course, the Fresno team that I thought was, was different than those teams, very physical team. And so hopefully it's preparing us as we continue to go through the non-conference schedule. Do you manage minutes differently because you're playing on back-to-back days? Well, we, we'll see how it goes. I think that's what we've done in the last couple of games. We've actually given guys breathers so they can actually uh, get some rest. And having a guy like Dustin Thomas come in, you know, he can play, uh, he can play this uh, on the perimeter. He can play inside as well. Uh, so it allows us now to spread some more minutes around. Oh, okay. That's, uh, yeah, Trey Young, I guess he was a five-star McDonald's All-American guy. I think he's averaging like 11 and a half assists, 18 points. Just what, what kind of player is he? Is he a guy you saw play a lot, or how's he look, look oh, on yeah. film? Oh, yeah. yeah, I tried to recruit him a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's an outstanding player. Great vision, uh, handling the basketball. Uh, he has the range of Daryl Macon. He can put it on the floor. Uh, just real crafty with the ball. Just real heady. Uh, his dad played college basketball, so he's pretty, uh, pretty instinctive player, uh, and I think he he's done a good job of coming in and uh, and just making that adjustment already. I mean, you, you're leading the nation in in, uh, in assists, uh, so he's he's big time player, uh, without a doubt, and has played played uh, a top flight basketball. Even you know when you talk about it in, in the AAU circuit. Uh, I mean, he's played against some of the best, and uh, he's proven that he's one of the better guards in the country. But they got more than just him. The James kid uh, can score. Uh, they got five guys in double figures. They're averaging 106 points a game. So you know they can shoot the basketball. And that's one of the things we've got to make sure we do a good job of, 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 number one, pushing them off the line and keeping them off the boards as well. What kind of tempo do they want to play against? And I guess you've gone against Lon Kruger several times in the past, haven't you? He's at Florida and some other places. Yeah, yeah, we played him. And then, you know, with this team here, I think they're playing more up tempo. Uh, I think they run uh, mostly, especially on rebounding. They get the ball down the floor. Their bigs really run down the floor. They're, they're moving the basketball, and they got a lot of versatile parts. Uh, the Latin kid has seemed like he's been there forever. I think he was on their Final Four team when they went to the Final Four. So it's a team that. Again, they've got a, a lot of new pieces, but those pieces are really, really, really good. Good. Uh, uh, the Manic kid, uh, six nine, I think six eight, six nine. I mean, really can shoot the basketball. So again, it's a uh, no, uh, uh, Kruger's team. Uh, uh, they they like to get up and down the floor. Maybe not at the pace we want to, but I think they like to score points. Yeah, Mike, I mean, this is obviously a big stage, you know, it's ESPN and all that stuff. I mean, you guys have played well, but it's been at home. How anxious are you to see how your team does on a neutral side against, you know, some, some comparable type teams? I think it's that next step. I think it's the next step. Just get them out of here and, you know, where it's going to be a neutral site. Uh, very much what takes place in postseason. So I want to see how our guys are going to, uh, going to respond. Uh, you know, we've had some guys that have been through it. But let's say a guy like Daniel, he hadn't played in that. 
uh, that that setting. Uh, uh, Darius Hall, Gabe, they haven't they hadn't been in that setting, so it'd be interesting to see. Even when you talk about CJ, CJ for the most part, you know, Adrian, I thought, you know, he played uh, in that North Carolina game, but CJ hadn't played the amount of minutes that you know you say okay. Uh, he's had a taste of it. So um, I'm anxious to see, even our older guys, see how they respond. Uh, it, it's uh, it's going to be a great, great opportunity, but I think it's going to be a great challenge, too. In the, the, the Uranus report, I mean, how much time do you spend dealing with that today? Is it just, does it upset you? Does it take you off? Does it just sort of shake your head? Or just what, what, what do you think about it's it? It's just today's society we're in. And you know, I just wish people would, you know, I'm, I'm a fact guy, a fact. And I think, you know, I, I would check, the, if I'm reporting something, I think I would, I would check the facts first, and, uh, and that's the the only thing that disturbs me because we got a young man, and you're talking about that young man reputation. You know, uh, it, it's, it's something like you know when you put it out there, you can't bring it back. I'm sure you guys, when you, I guess when you do journalism classes, and uh, that's something you guys talk about. You know, uh, I think that's so so important. You, you do it with integrity. You do it, uh, you do it the right way because that's. Uh, as a kid's life, and that's that's the only thing that bothers me about it. Anything else? All right, thank you. Okay.